Okay. Uh, okay, let me make sure that I have the right properties. Oh, that's right, I'd have to set it. Hold on, hold on, I gotta set the output device to that one. Be able to hear you and for the stream to hear you. I think that worked. Yes, if you could talk for a few seconds. I was born at a very early age. I was right a little bit before my teeth, but about the same time as my gums. Okay. I... Okay. Okay, that looks good. Now that means that I won't have to crane my neck around a phone. Um, I will still have the phone up for chat, but for the most part, I kind of trust that Andrew will do the chat. And I can't hear the game now, but whatever. We can have a conversation. Hey, lovey. Yes. La vie. I said it. What, what do I get? Ah. Uh. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm going to... I... My original plan was to get more Cheeto pages to try and get that cheat. Um, but honestly, I'm just gonna skip right ahead to, uh, just to doing the boss fight. I think I should be able to get it in a reasonable amount of time. I was doing okay before. Don't what you always say. Listen... Do my best, okay? I'm not very good at video games. They're hard. Sorry, dicks, but you like those. Listen. There's a difference yeah, between, nice. d between, between. Hard, hard, hard. What's the hardness scale? There's like a, there's like a scientific measurement for that. Yeah. Okay. It's for like gemstone. What is it? What's it called? Uh, let me see. Gemstone... Hardness scale. The Mohs scale. There we go. There's a difference between difficulty and Mohs... Mozility. I'm a 9. On the Mohs scale. Doesn't only go to 10? Yeah. What Your is skills bring me down. What what is like um the hardest thing? Like diamond is pretty diamond. high up there. Is, diamond. Is there anything harder than diamond though? No. Hmm. Only a diamond can scratch a diamond. Okay. Uh, it's not a linear scale. Instead, it works <laughs> gems on a relative scale based on their scratch hardness. So although corundum. Is a nine. The diamond at ten is many, many times harder. Ah, right, right. I need to quit working at that life on the stream. Yeah, I mean, if it's gonna be the distraction. <sighs> give it to the teacher. You can get it after class. <sighs> but you have to pay attention to your lessons, Andrew. Did, we did this, Grunty. Uh, Bob. We're already streaming. Oh shit. 
Yeah. You gotta give me a fucking like. I said into we're live. I did. Listen. I feel like you're lying. I am not. In the meantime, in the meantime, I'm gonna, to... I'm gonna turn you up a little bit. Okay. In the meantime, it's time to like this shit. Nope. Well, this is a little weird because they kind of do it like, um, instead of being like, uh, console FPSs nowadays, it's more like what you would expect from a, uh, from a, like, uh, uh, like, they were trying to emulate, like, PC FPSs, basically, so you basically, with the left stick, are able to point where you want it to go within that one screen, and it does not change, but then it auto-centers once you let it go. It's, uh, it's kind of hard. Yeah. It's not terrible, it's just taking some getting used to. Where does it rank on the most scale? Uh... Yes. It ranks. What the fuck is Hustery? Hustery. Oh. Donald Trump. Uh huh. What does he gotta say? Uh, Donald Trump tweeted, The Trump rally gives Fox News the largest Saturday night audience in its Hustery. Isn't it amazing that virtually nobody in the mainstream media is reporting this rather major feat? Oh, is that what God what he's saying? You, I had huge numbers on TV. Yeah, Are, they're saying online. The stream did very well. The what? The, the they're saying the stream did well, from what I'm hearing. Oh yeah, we're getting huge numbers on the stream. Um, the, the sycophants just sucking up to him. Are yeah. just, oof. Well, guys, he's not going to make you a cabinet member. Well, maybe he will. Or like the people that suck up fucking, uh... Elon Musk. Like, dude, he's not going to pay you. Yeah, no. He already only pays the best of the best, and that's because he wants to be able to steal their work and make everybody think... He is just the modern Edison. Really. Like, he just... He recognizes when other people are genius, and then he fucking takes credit so that people can think that he's this big, amazing scientist. Apparently, TikTok teens are saying Pizzagate is real. Oh no. That was something I saw recently, where I, it was like, talking about COVID-19, it was like, there's a, or no, it was something, it was like, there's other shit to worry about, and they're just like, our children are being trafficked, and they're like, yeah, they are. It's like, here, watch this, and it was some fucking doc YouTube documentary, and they're like, oh, I can't watch it right now. It's like, okay, just look up Pizzagate, and I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no, is this the loose change of Pizzagate that people are spreading around? Because here's the thing, human trafficking is actually a big problem, but it's not Pizzagate shit. It's mostly sex trafficking. Yeah, and uh, here's the fun thing. Someone, I don't know who the fuck she is, uh, senior legal advisor to Team Trump and attorney to Donald Trump, uh, tweeted, I'm going on record now. They try to cancel Christianity, they try to force me to apologize or recant my faith, I will not bend. I will not waver, I will not break. I'm Christ the solid rock I stand, and I'm proud to be an American. Shut up. No one is telling you you can't be a Christian. No, they, they constantly do that because, as always, if there's not a threat, then there's nothing to... No reason for them to fight against it. Uh, yeah, the people who use it to their ends. Yeah. It's TPG. It's just fascism. It's just fascism. It's just creating an enemy. Creating a threat in an enemy that isn't there to scare the hell out of people. So that they feel like they need to fight and keeps them paranoid so that only you can save them. Uh, yep. It's just fear mongering. No. Yep. Fear mongering is just fascism. Definitively. Imagine if fuck. imagine if they ever passed a law that was like it's illegal to you know, employers can fire you for being Christian now. 
uh, employers can fire you for being straight white men or, you know, just straight and white. Um, you're also, it's legally allowed that you could be denied housing for that reason. Uh, imagine, imagine the, like, stamping of feet and, you know, Yeah, they're whining. making, they're making the criticism of institutions that are actively harming people. Like, the Christian church has harmed people, and it has facilitated a lot of harm to people. And any criticism of that, they're just like, you're fucking tearing it down, you're an enemy. It's like, no, we're just actively saying that, like, hey, it's not a very good thing. Maybe you should, uh, maybe you should actually get on top of your fucking people if you want to continue as an organization. But they're like, nah, we trust, we trust the priests. Doesn't matter what they do. It clearly doesn't matter what they do after what they've done. I went to pick up, uh... My mom's truck today, so I can bring you a, a, a couch tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, I passed a billboard for a, I won't say the name of the church, but it's like a televangelist style church that's, as far as I can tell, only local. Mm. Like they're really trying to expand. Sure. But, uh, uh, so what happened was, oh shit, there was a shooting here in Charlotte today. Or no, during the third night, yeah. People are still looking for answers after the biggest mass shooting in Charlotte's recent history unfolded this morning on Beatty's Ford Road. I thought the name of that road sounded familiar. I was like, is that a, like, famous road? Because, you know, who fucking remembers roads? It's, yeah. Right? It's depressing that it has to be recent history. Yeah. Uh, at least... Three people were killed and 11 others injured after shots rang out at the intersection uh, just after midnight on Monday morning. Uh, surprising, surpassing the violence seen in the mass shooting on UNC Charlotte's campus in 2019. Oh my god. One thing I do appreciate about this boss is that it's very clear cut about how many phases there are. There's exactly 10, and you just gotta do 10 damage in each, but... Ooh, each one's pain in the ass. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of, um... <coughs> oh. Multi-stage boss battles. That exceed, like, three stages. Yeah. Like, Final Fantasy is the first, right? Um... Oh. Judgment and shit. It made me so mad I stopped the game and just looked up the ending. Sure. Um, it was Come just on. awful. It was awful. Hit, uh, hit. Because the Yakuza games, in which this is clearly like continuity adjacent, uh, you know, never had anything like that. They had enemy waves, but they made it so that you could easily get through it by using, you know, a fucking. Uh, health potion that they would scatter around the levels. There was no such help in this battle. And it would have taken me over an hour because the uh, last save point was an hour before. Uh, hell no. Hell no. No, 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 no. Otherwise, it was a okay game. It was a very C plus B minus game. And yeah. then I got to that point, I'm like, nope, I fucking hate you. Plus, it was really, really hard to make money in that game this time around. I've never had so much trouble making money in a Yakuza game before. Yeah. Like, you really had very few options for how to do it. And one was just goddamn infuriating. I don't mind picking locks. I'm good at it in real life. This was unreal. Uh, because it's a thumbscrew lock, which is kind of like a dead hole back of the deadbolt where you just turn that knob. Oh, sure. And so, you have to use wires to do it, and that's one of those dexterity check things, basically. Mm. Where you have to move the thumbstick into the top right corner of the controller, and oh, then yeah. slowly rotate it while keeping it centered in the middle of a glowy thingy, and not overshoot it, and then, you know, do it the other direction, and then use the other thumbstick to do the exact same thing. I was like, this is not worth that effort, man, man. You know, like, I don't mind picking locks, the, like, 
kick way where you use a kick and a tension rod to open it. Ah, but that was just fucking ungodly. Motherfucker. Fuck a mother. See, that's the thing, is that there is a cheat you can unlock for a fucking, uh... Mother? For, uh, homing eggs, which means that I would be able to, like, just get generally close, but, like, because it's so finicky, and it's got a surprising degree of, like, accuracy, where, like, it, just the tiniest bit off, and the angle's all fucked. Uh, uh, this one... That's the thing, is like, it's not hard to dodge the attacks or anything, it's just hard to fucking hit her. Stop it. Stop it! Eat the grenade! Do it! Okay, stay snack! Okay. Oh, my. Alright. Okay, now we're at this point where I gotta like go in there and like blow up one of the, oh, the batteries. You there? Hello? Okay, your stream I like pause and I'll, looks like it was a pause on my end, so I'll just Yeah, that that yeah. seems to happen most times. But I'm not on my desktop, which I normally am. Hmm. I'm on my laptop so that I could um so that I could eat perfectly normal candies. And, um, you know, normal candy. Uh, I made a chocolate Dr. Pepper cake earlier. Mmm. Shit's so delicious. But, you know, the fumes from the candy can be a lot, so you gotta go with when you put your candies on. Oh, sir. The only way I can, and there's no, there are none of those things So, I'm having to watch this on a browser instead of the app on the phone. Right. So things are different. Yeah. Okay. Plus, this is on Wi Fi instead of uh, Ethernet cord. Oh, yeah. So, my right. worry was that my signal had dropped out. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, got one of the batteries, which means that we're about halfway into the fight. Shit, shit. Back off. Back off. Stop that. Good shit. Shit. Stop. Stop. This is threatening. Fuck. I'm gonna give it one more shot, and if I can't get it this time, I'm gonna go and get the homing eggs, which will be a whole little quest, because I gotta go and get, like, four more Cheeto pages first. Or actually, I might need to get, like, nine, because the next cheat might be... Um, might be a different one, now that I'm thinking about it. It's gonna be a little, little process, but I got this. I got this. You say that every time. I got this. Listen, I'm not letting it get to me. So I, hey, I have to get this because if not, what is this show? Huh? Huh? Think of that. You're not getting this. That's what this show is. <sighs> Why can you not have faith in me? Faith comes with experience. I have played this at least 20 times. No, my experience so far is you not being able to get this. Listen. Isn't this the third show we've tried to take her on now? This is the second. Is it? And it's mainly because of time constraints. It's not about necessarily the difficulty. I should play Earthworm Jim 3D at some point. That is a game I can guarantee is hot garbage. 
Because even when I was a kid, I could not get through any bit of it with a ton of patience. But, I remember it being really weird and really cool. Although, there might be something bad about the Earthworm Gym team, I cannot remember. I remember hearing something controversial about them. About who? The people who made Earthworm Jim. Yeah. Transphobic? Them and Might have been transphobia. Uh, uh, it was either that or the guys behind um, Toad Jam and Earl. Not Toad Jam and Earl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> the both of them. Oh, how the mighty have shown their true colors. Whoop. Hey, hey. What, hey? Uh. Shit, that was there. I hope I got that right. I mean, I'm getting this first part a lot better. It's just like once it hits a certain point, it gets real fucking difficult. Shit. <clears throat> or maybe I'm just warmed up now. Ready uh, to go. The reason I am not currently sober, y'all, mm. is because of said pre or previously aforementioned uh, couch. Yeah, that sounds like it fucking sucked. So, I didn't pack our storage unit at all. So that was done by movers uh, while I was still in Georgia. So, um, when I you know, said, oh, well, we'll just give you the couch then, you know, I didn't realize they packed the thing with the couch that's the last thing in the back. So we had be to the move. first thing that they put in. Yeah. So we had to move all the boxes, Oof. of which there were many. Uh, a dresser, a greenhouse, um, a bunch of other shit, and to top it off, a washing machine. Hmm. And uh, it was fucking heavy. I. You, you've known me a long time. You've seen me uh, do crazy feats of strength. Um, I've pulled a tree out of its roots. Yeah, I've done it. I've, I've done a lot. Full on classic circus strong so, shit. Yeah. Um, here's a fun story that is 100% true. It scared the shit out of my coworkers. There's a, when I worked at the window factory, we would cut, um, we did, uh, PVC plastic, uh, windows. Mm -hmm. Um, so, we would cut these things we call glazing, which, uh, if you have, like, wood windows, you might not see them, but if you look at a window, there's these long, thin strips that overlap the glass ever so slightly around the edges to cover the edge of the glass. It's a way... Of, it, there's multiple ways of doing it, but that's one of the ways that... Our, and that's definitely the way our line in the factory did it. Right. So this, these big strips would come on forklift loads. You know, feet, dozens of people. And you just pull it out and cut what you needed to fit the windows as you went along. They came with these big, thick uh, plastic and uh, rubber, almost coated strands of butter. Sure. And you, you sometimes see these on like boxes, like for appliances. They're a much thinner, thinner, both like depth and width uh, version of it. So there's this. A trick for how you can tear one in half with your bare hands. Right. And it involves a special way of folding it, and I'm not going to try and describe 
but what you would do is you would put that in the middle of your palm, the knot, and hold it so it looked like you were just holding two ends of it. And then you would uh, pull it and it would pop in half. And you know it popped in half because it left a nice clean slice down the middle. And they tell and they'd say, "Look, you can do it. it's so easy. You can tear it in half with your bare hands. Give it a try." And everybody would eh, eh, and hurt themselves trying to pull it apart. And it would be a good laugh for everybody on the line. <laughs> my ass wrapped it around my knuckles, put one hand on my uh, knee, and just yanked and tore it in half. And when they brought the guy over. Like, he actually fucking did it. That, you know, usually does the trick. He's like, you figured out the knot? And I was like, no, I didn't use a knot. And he's like, you had to use a knot. And everybody said, he used no knot. And he would refuse to believe it. Fuck. So he did it again. And we saw the sharp, straight line edge where it was cleanly torn in the middle. And then we paired it up against mine, which had jagged, like, mountain range looking tears going across it because I had torn it so specifically that it had to have been done by hand, and he just refused to accept it. Mm. Like, it was that fucking well done. You know? So, yeah. I am a little bit strong. <laughs> but I got to moving that washer, and I'm like, I can't do this anymore. Like, we're hiring movers. Like, we don't care how much it costs, we're hiring movers when we move out to Seattle. Because this is fucking awful. Yeah. Apparently Joel Schumacher's passed away. Oh. Eh. I mean, I feel bad for him, a death is always a tragedy, but, um... Yeah, I mean, it's, he wasn't doing anything for quite a while anyways, so we weren't losing any, um, potential arts. No, but he did, you know, make the best Batman movie ever, so. I'm, I'm gonna need some citations on that one. He put nipples too. Yeah. Batman, in general, sucks. So, if you're gonna have fun with it, go balls out. He had fun with it. And made Batman watchable for once. Yeah, that's the not sport the known as Skeleton got its name because of its dangers, sled shape, or athlete's diet. Hmm. I've never heard I'm gonna of go with sled shape. the sport yeah! of Skeleton. I got it right, it's sled shape. I've never Bitching. heard of this sport. I think it's the type of sledding game. Right. I mean, like, obviously, considering the shape of the sled gave it its name. I think it's kind of like luging. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, I'm not much of a luger. Let me see. Skeleton sled racing. Yeah! Oh, I've seen this! It's the fucking craziest version of like luging. It's on ice, and you do it face first. Oh no. That sounds oh, like yeah. a terrible idea. It's fucking nuts. Right along the ledge to the right. You do it face down, face forward first. How fucking bananas is that? That send you a link. sounds like a terrible idea. I'm gonna send you a link. Uh, that's one thing I don't like about Discord. I want my send button on the screen. Well, you just hit enter. I don't want to hit enter. I want the save button on the screen. Yeah, yeah. Because I do control enter. But I don't want that. But you just hit control enter and it works. But Caillou did not want to hit control enter. Caillou's a little bitch. I had a theory that Caillou might be a cancer patient. Uh, I've, I've heard similar theories. Because, like, 
his parents, I had to watch it because of my son, his parents always was more like punishy with their daughter. Like, right. they were far more strict and firm with her. That, I mean, it was never so bad they had to like fucking yell at them or anything, but like, she was often scolded the most. Sure. And Caillou would just be the worst fucking kid, like, just a horrible little shit of a kid. Hmm. And they would never say anything. And we were, I was like, what if they know it's because he's only got so long left? And he's just like, they're just like waiting, waiting it out, you know, hoping for the best. Man, and I hope praying. not. That, that puts a, a sour impression on the whole thing. It makes sense, though. And they're just like, you know, he, he doesn't have long. We don't want to make his short life miserable by, you know, punishing him. I and, mean, like, uh, and then yeah. there's the fact that you could argue, well, the reason he wasn't drawn with hair was because they, you know, none of the kids would have been. It was a stylistic choice. Like, all of them other kids had hair. Like, all of them. Uh, well, so why yeah. was he bald? Like, are are his parents like so sick of his shit that they, that's his pun? Is that his punishment? They, they just shave his, his head. fucking head until he like learns humility, or is he just such a nasty, disgusting little child that it's easier to shave his head and wash him that way than it is to like fucking apply soap and shampoo to his body? It's uh, it's yeah, it's mange. <laughs> Yeah, so, my theory, chemotherapy. I believe that Caillou looks not long for this world. We got I to mean... a point where I was so fed up with Caillou that, like, I would, uh, turn on the TV and there'd be, like, another fucking episode playing for Aiden, and I'm like, God, has this kid not passed yet? Like, Damn. when are they gonna cancel this show? That's some dark it's shit. Not... Dude, that, that show sucked. I do not approve of Caillou or his ways. I call him a charlatan and a scoundrel and strongly disapprove of his position on most things in life. I don't know how much more firm I can be in, in this stance. I mean, shit, I don't remember liking Caillou that much. I always watched Maisie Mouse. I never heard of that. It's, I, it was one of those ones where they don't really talk, and there's just a narrator being like, Maisie goes over there and has a lovely time with Archibald. And the characters just be like, ah, blah, 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 blah. It was just kid shit, man. Kid shit is dumb. Teletubbies, I watched that shit when I was little. Um, Which apparently the fucking Teletubbies place was a real location that they had to cover, like bury in cement. Yeah. Which is uh, what are they hiding? What are they hiding down there? The corpses of the tubbies, crawling and scrounging, begging to see light once more. You might not They're see their claws, flesh. but they're retractable. Their fetid flesh hanging limply from their bodies. What is this? That's Temple of the Fishes, okay. As their Frost sumptuous man. breasts. Oh, I'm sorry, I was looking at Fet Life and it took a weird turn there. You were reading your fanfiction again? Uh, oh, God bless America. From sea to shining sea. Alright, let's see, is this the right one? Nope, Seaweed Sanctum. I need the ancient swimming baths. Ugh, come on. Come on. This just feels like doing fucking errands at this point. Hey. I hate having her just like run errands. Yeah, I just gotta get the fucking thing. Just gotta get the shit. Hold on. Is that is that that it? Fucking get it! There it is. Okay. He can, he can fucking get it. I just need to get it. He knows. I need it. He knows. 
Gotta switch no, over to the like that. Okay, and then I gotta move over here. As high as high as I can get. Did you know Danhausen was a father? Really? Yeah! Huh. Like, uh, Lulu tweeted today, uh, this is the two-year anniversary of their engagement. Right. And she said he's the, um, best husband and father out there. I was like, he's a dad housing! Damn. You know, I'll bet he is a really good dad. Here's his tweet, here's his tweet. Or, here's her tweet. Two years ago today, this handsome devil got down on one knee and I cried and called him an asshole. <laughs> Thanks for choosing to spend your little or your life with little old me. You are the best husband and a wonderful father. Love you. And his tweet, this is 100% true. The ring got stuck in the jacket pocket and I looked like an idiot. I also couldn't give her my jacket when she was cold because the ring was very clearly in the pocket if you wore it and felt bad. I love you. Thank you for being the best part of my life. Oh. Oh. Isn't that the sweetest? That's cute. Oh, I love it. It warms my fucking grisly heart. Alright, now we gotta go to Terry Dacty land. I knew a pterodactyl once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no follow-up to this joke. There's no. This joke's not going anywhere. <laughs> that was just a. That was a joke. I knew a pterodactyl once. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Here's the thing. It's pterodactyl land. There's no P. Because the P is non-existent. Silent. Um, ninja dinosaurs. What's your, what are your thoughts on this scourge of plaguing our nation? Um, I mean, honestly, which, which dinosaurs aren't ninjas? We haven't seen one in millions of years. And yet their path of terror goes unchecked. They're all around us. Chupacabra, actually a dinosaur. Uh -huh. Lapis monster, literally a dinosaur. Bigfoot, actually a dinosaur. Trump's hair, dinosaur. It's all dinosaurs all the way through. And I, for one, will not stand for their disgusting ways in our community any longer. Think... Or are you one of those left-wing bleeding hearts that insist they're all herbivores? I've never herbed a vore in my life. Have you ever vored an herb, though? I mean, I've vored many herbs. They're delicious. Usually in brownie form. <laughs> Parsley. Basil. Did you know Parsley. that, uh... Oregano. <laughs> Did you know that, uh, fucking felt good? Um, that fucking. Ah, oh, shit, I'm high. Um, where is it? Should've, oh. should've kinda gone on that a little earlier so that you'd, uh, that, that first wave could've calmed down for you. <laughs> nah, I wanted it on camera. Uh, did you know that, remember the Toby Keith's I Love This Bar and Grill? Do you remember that being a thing? Uh, no. So, that was the thing. And, um, apparently, uh, that was all a plot by an ex-mafia guy to scam, um, mall developers. Really? Yeah. How'd that work? I mean, we know about it, so probably not that well. Yeah. First, first step of a plan, make sure nobody knows. Second step of the plan, um, profit? No, that's third step. 
the second step. Fuck. This isn't going well. Alright, I think... I feel like I already got this one, though. Didn't I? Nope, there it is. All right. See, yeah, I gotta agree with the uh, guy who says he gave up on Cuphead halfway through the first level. No, he gave because... up during the tutorial. Was the uh, was the quote? No, well, I'm reading this on uh, cracked. Oh sure. So it says halfway through level one. I loved everything about the style, but after spending an hour barely making it halfway through the first level... Oh, yeah, you're right. I was so annoyed I never played again. It just became too tedious to redo the level so many times to get nowhere. I gotta agree with that shit. Like, I don't like that in games. It's... well, it's it's just, like, extra hard Contra. But, like, yeah, if that's not something you're into... That was the thing, is it was kind of disappointing, because early Cuphead stuff, it was like, Oh, this animation looks awesome. Looks super mm -hmm. cool, and then they revealed what the gameplay was like, and it's like, oh, it's 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 Contra. I mean, okay, but yeah. Immediately, my enthusiasm dropped heavily. Like, eh, Contra Contra died back with the NES for a reason. Did Fuck, and they put out a um, new Contra game, and it looks like shit. Have you seen that? No. I it's don't like really Contra care about Core, it. and it looks like something that would have been on the PS1, but it came out. Like last year, mm. it is a um, full price game too. Have you seen uh, the one boss in Cuphead that's a flower, like a big daisy or something? Yeah, I mean, I've I've watched a lot of like playthroughs of it. I just have never played it myself. Right, same. Were you the only one getting vibes of the fucking flower from Battle Kids? Mm, I mean, just they, they just happen to both be flowers. I don't really see much no. of a connection. No, uh, rewatch it. There's like little roots shooting up from under the three flower platforms you can stand on, right? Yeah. Uh, there was it was shooting pin needles at you that you had to avoid. It was, it was, it had to be an homage. It looks just like the layout and gameplay of the Battle Kids flower. Certainly. I mean, like, it, it, it possibly could have been. just like If they like making hard games, like, obviously they would take some, uh, some, uh, 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 influence from other hard games. So, okay, here's the moment where we'll see if I have to keep going doing this. Fourth cheat is... Honey Bag. Shit! Alright, I gotta get four more Cheeto pages. <laughs> God damn it. Well, this one means that now I have regenerative healing, which will definitely help as well. Mm. Fuck. Okay. Let me check... Or, let me check where I can get some more Cheeto pages. I need four more. Yeah, I've got that one. Three, 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 three. Yep, got all those. Grunty Industries, all right. Here That's what I called my porn shop. Grunty Industries? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's pretty solid. <sighs> I want to use Twitch Studio because they have noise suppression. Like, they have just a noise gate, which would be super useful considering that, while my noise floor isn't the worst, um, it's still a lot higher than I'd like it to be. And maybe that's just me being picky as an audio professional, but... Ah, it's nice, too, because it, like, integrates perfectly with Twitch. Like, but it just does not have support for Elgato. A lot of people have requested it. It's still in beta, so I'm not shocked. It also doesn't let you, like, um, copy and paste layouts. So if I want to have separate, like, shows starting soon, be right back, shows over, like, things, I have to do each one from scratch. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to wait until y'all fix that. 
All right, let's see. What do I? Where? Where are these fucking things? I have one more that I can get here, but I need to get all I can. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Industry jiggies. Hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, I don't like pausing. That's not good content. It's mm -hmm. not good video. Mm -mm. Um, Do it, you sexy bitch. That's right. I gotta unclog a toilet. That's the kind of gameplay I'm here for. <laughs> I thought you meant like you were gonna take a bathroom break. No. That's the beauty of Banjo Kazooie. No nothing is a is a joke, a metaphor. It's all literal. Lunch in here. I think I gotta like, gotta like, uh, fucking blow up the door. Yeah, and there it is. Oh, it's Lago the toilet. Yep, yep. That's the worst name for a toilet. Yeah. The, it's him specifically that reminds me, like, oh yeah, this game is for, like, kids. Shit! I mean, that's what you usually do. Oh no. Cheeto page. All right. All right. Ah. Yeah, it is nice not to have a phone directly in my face, but at the same time, um, not being able to read chat is kind of annoying. Although it's looking like nobody's really talking in the chat today. No. Oh well. I guess it is like Tuesday, so. Monday, you mean? Is it Monday? Yeah. God damn it. Got got all my business thrown out of whack. Been having a rough day. Just, it's been running errands. We had to get the oil changed in our car. Set up like lawn stuff because our fucking mower's broken. Mm. Yeah. And we cleaned everything up because you were gonna like come over, but then by the, it was pretty much like ten minutes after we'd finished cleaning everything up and making space, and then you were like, "Nope, coming tomorrow." And it's like, well, okay. I mean, I can't blame you for it. It's just the t it was just bad timing. Yeah. On on like our part. Yeah. If we had waited a little while to do it, we wouldn't have had to bother until tomorrow. Yeah, well, at least this way it worked out to me, um, going up Wednesday and, uh, buying more candy. Yeah. The fumy, fumy candy. Yeah. All right. All right. Gotta get one Cheeto page in this spot. So, uh, I gotta check the walkthrough. What you got for me, Hailfire Peaks? Oh, 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 where's the next page? Where's the next page? Nope, that's just the, the chiggies. We gotta go to collectibles. Come on, come on. Cheetos, okay, split up inside the Coliseum. Climb the chain near the column. Path leading outside, step on the button, swap back to the... Go through the archway, grab the uh, fucking what? Okay, let me take that one at a time. So I gotta go to the Coliseum. <laughs> go to the Coliseum. Gotta go in, get the thing, do the stuff. Hippity ho! Still there? Yeah, I'm here. 
Okay, you got quiet, and unlike mine that has like a constant little background noise, uh, your channel is just completely silent when you're not talking. Oh, uh, that's because I think I have that option turned on. So. Mm. Well, if you set your levels correctly, then yeah, it should cut out all of the noise, or they have it so they can... God damn it, not this shit again. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Up, 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 up. Okay. Which I've done I've done this multiple times. Fuck! God fucking damn it! Climb the fucking chain! Grab the fucking ledge, you stupid fucking bear! God damn, I'd love to see fucking social services take care of this guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Banjo, pay your child support. He's got three kids with his sister. Did you say he's got three kids with his sister? Yeah, okay. So, Banjo Banjo and Kazooie originally showed up in uh con or not con uh Diddy Kong Racing. Uh-huh. And in their bio, or it might have just been Banjo, but in the bio, it's like, Tootie is his uh, girlfriend. And it's like, oh, okay. And then when Banjo-Kazooie came around, it's like, oh, Banjo's sister Tootie has been uh, kidnapped by Gruntilda. And it's like, it... Don't that bite me one more time? I mean, considering that he's the, the country one, and his name is Banjo, it uh, wasn't a great look. I mean... I, I don't, have I told this story on stream before? Um, when I was a kid, we went to visit uh, my dad's family in the mountains. And while they weren't the most redneck family we've got, uh, they are pretty high on the food chain. Sure. Um, and so I meet my dad's cousin and his three daughters, making them my third cousins, because my dad's cousin would be my second cousin. Uh, yep. So, my third cousins, um, and they're all, you know, about my sisters and my ages. Um, oh, God damn it, I've so, got this fucking Cheeto. So, we are hanging out on, like, a trampoline. I'm maybe 13 or 14. And my cousin... One of my fucking third cousins starts hitting on me. Ooh, I mean, that's a little it, farther it, removed, but yeah. It's and still... here's the thing. Here's the thing. I was disappointed, but I was creeped out. <laughs> like uh, she was not an uh, unattractive girl. And I was like, sure. man, if you're hitting on me, what is the stock around here like? <laughs> I need to move, because you would be. Uh, 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 you'd be very popular back where I came from. Yeah. And... I mean, sometimes... I don't know, sometimes it's uh, preferences, you know? Well, if I can compete with those looks here, maybe I should uh, move. <laughs> you know, just, so, yeah, I mean, the whole thing of rednecks and all that, it, it happens. It's happened to me. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't think anything like that has happened to me, but that's mainly because only half of my family is, uh, what would be considered redneck. Quite mm. trash. Trailer that, trash. When I tell you we got hillbillies in my family tree, I'm talking hillbillies, like outhouse hillbillies. I was talking... Their house is on stilts because it would fall off hillbillies. I'm talking, I'm not talking a house, I'm talking a trailer on stilts because it wouldn't lay level otherwise. Hillbillies, like, that's my, like, extended family. Like, and I've got so many fucking, like, at first cousins, I wouldn't know them all if I met them. But you could literally come up to me, claim, as long as you got, like, a name or two right, I'd be like, 
Yeah, sure, that's that's Gans. I guess you are my, uh, yeah, cousin. Because, I don't know. Cloud Cuckoo Land. Oh, no. I think one of the Cheeto pages might I might not be able to get. Fuck. Because it might be the Canary Mary one that's nigh impossible. Shit. Well, let's find out. Uh, well, let me see if actually... Uh, I'll Hags, maybe. Uh, da, 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 da. Man. You ever, like... I try to force a high thought and it just like escaped me before I could finish it. I was just gonna repeat the war from yesterday, which I stole from a really crappy movie. Um, like it's one of those movies that's okay if you don't think too much about the premise. Sure. And it's fun to watch. Uh, I've never been able to find a copy of it outside of a family video in Lexington. What is it? And it's called The Anarchist Cookbook. Oh yeah, loosely based on the uh, the book concept. Well, loosely ba based on the concept in the book, rather. right? Um, I'm not going to say too much about what the actual anarchist cookbook is, mm -hmm. but it's more based around like this commune, this anarchist commune that uh, was in Texas. And it's all fictional, you know, but the premise is this tech, uh, anarchist commune in Texas uh, living in relative peace until a nihilist joins the party. Yeah. And because they their whole thing is they have to be accepting at all times, they accept him in and he's like... That's not what anarchy is. Well, well it's also a hippie commune. So, I mean, uh, I guess anarcho-communism specifically, but even then, uh, uh, uh. I never said it was a uh, um, communist commune. I'm just like they. Well, I'm saying like there there are di different factions of anarchism that would uh that would fit that. Yeah, it's worth a watch if you can find it, but. Uh, the nihilist just like blackmails or destroys relationships so he gains full control of the commune. And by commune, I mean like a, a, a suburban home. Yeah. I might. I may not be able to get this. Ah, oh, fuck. Hold on, how many do I have? Three? I need one fucking more after that, and it is the second race. With Canary Mary, the one that is absolutely fucking impossible. Fuck. Well... It's from 2002. And, like, I've checked the IMDB of these people before. Mm -hmm. And not many of them had a fucking career after this. Yeah. But it's pretty decent. Like, very 2002 punk anarchy mentality. You know? Sure. Like... One, the main character's name is Puck. The nihilist is Johnny Black. And there's a Johnny Red as well. Like, you couldn't even, like, change that up a bit. Um. And yeah, it's a fucking. Like, there's no heroes in a movie like that. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if I can find a copy of it for, like, watching. That movie is an uh, interesting fucking film. It has... no reviews on <laughs> Google. Oof. Oh, man. I wonder where I can find it. Uh... Wow, it's on YouTube. Oh, sweet. Fuck. I am taking that, if it's the right thing, and downloading that, because... 
God, it was such uh, a wild ass movie. Huh? It'll be easier just to jump off. Well, fuck yeah, I can't get the last Cheeto page. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, well, I will activate the other cheat and hit the uh, hit up the last boss. Link me, link me the that movie, though. All right. Totally watch that. It, it's wild. I'm sure if I rewatch it, because again, I watched this movie in my very early twenties. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure if I rewatch it now, I'm gonna be like, oh, these characters all suck. Like, I don't remember liking any of them by the end to begin with. Right. Uh, they they were all just awful, but. Like, just go with that in mind, like, you're not meant to cheer for any of them. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm, uh, keeping my expectations somewhat low, because as an anarcho-communist, uh, I feel like a lot of people misunderstand what, what their deal is. Yeah. It's, again, it's not a bad movie. It's just not a great movie. Mm -hmm. And it's got, like, uh, some really excellent scenes and lines that are endlessly quotable. But, like, my f the one I did yesterday, Have you ever thought about Canada? It's like America, but not really. It's from that. <laughs> ah, okay. That, that, makes, uh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so, like, uh, there was one line in it where, um... The, the just every bit of that movie is like really well done and how like so close to having a message it has like it gets so close to having a message and then never quite does <laughs> yeah and it, like if it had a message it would be such a good like cult movie but like my memories of it are like very Mm. You, you oh, that's tried. A, that's a very quick regeneration. Okay, I should have a much easier time with this then. Because, uh, now I just get I'm regenerating health, so it's not really any way for me to lose. Alright. Gotta get back over there. I'm trying to think of what shitty movie. I could recommend for my childhood. Hmm. Ooh, I could recommend some shitty movies from childhood. Sleep Stalker Sandman for one. Oh yeah. Well, that's the thing is I want I want it to be something that is not a good movie but would still be entertaining. Because I can Sleep think Stalker of some Sandman. bad movies. Sleep Stalker Sandman. Yeah. No, I'll trust you on that. I'm saying like, what did I watch? Stealing Harvard? Nah, now that movie sucks. Never mind. There's some movies like I loved, like that kind of movie growing up. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just like the weird shit that, you know, uh, and it started because of Army of Darkness. If I'm being fully honest. Yeah. So, um, a one that I've seen is called Pelts. P E L T S. Like fur and, pelts? Yeah, and stars Meatloaf a day. Ooh. Wait, he has a last name? Yeah, his last name is a day. Oh. I've only ever Which seen him. Which is also my diet. <laughs> I haven't had Meatloaf in forever. Um, I only ever see him credited as Meatloaf, so. Mm hmm. Hmm. Meatloaf? I think it's A-D-A-Y. Oh, that's an obscure movie. This is actually one from Coco's childhood that was pretty good. Um, it's kind of iffy because it does uh, have a prominent character with autism. Uh, whether or not it's actually respectful, I can't really say because What's I- What's getting Gilbert Grape? No, uh, it's called Burning Bright. It's about uh, an adult uh, an adult woman, so she's still, she's like probably like 19 or something, going back home and then getting uh, boarded up with her uh, autistic child uh, little brother 
their, their stepdad boards them in their house during a hurricane with a tiger. And Meatloaf wow. is like the one who gives him the tiger at the beginning. It's Apparently. it's pretty intense. Um, you can definitely tell when there's actually a tiger there and when they use like a puppet because the puppet looks scary. The tiger just looks like a big cat. He's just hanging out, being big. Uh, apparently, Meatloaf got his name after he formed his first band, Meatloaf Soul, after a nickname coined by his football coach because of his weight. Shit. Um... And so... Hmm. I mean, yeah. It's, it's good to, uh, embrace that shit. Be like, nah, I'm gonna own it. That's what Ice Cube did. I do not know that story. Yeah, he says it in his Wired autocomplete interview, but basically his brother, who was like a lot older, would just be like, I'm gonna stuff you in the freezer and you're gonna turn into an Ice Cube. And he was like, you know what? That's me then. I'm Ice Cube. <laughs> That's the story. I mean, it worked for him. Yeah. I mean, it's a really good fucking rap name. Yeah, mm -hmm. And it led to the greatest meme ever. Which one? A glass with iced tea and ice cubes as iced tea and ice cubes. Nice. It is brilliant. I am. Does he? I feel conflicted because while it is the common trope for the witch to be a villain, witches helped us out pretty recently. They were full on fucking all up on Black Lives Matter. They're for oh the my cause. God. Hold up, there's another alternate meme that takes it a step farther. Ice tea as ice tea, with ice cube as the ice cubes in the tea, and Mr. T as a tea bag hanging off the edge. It's not the right spell in the tea, but I'll t I'll accept it. Yeah. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Let's try to send you the picture. Well, I can't do that in Discord. What? You can't? I can only do it where I am in uh, Twitch. Hmm. I can't do it on Discord. I have to do it on Discord. Ah. Uh. Um. Oh, yeah, I'm doing way better this time. This is probably going to be the, the end of the run here. And then I might, I might do, I might do one more stream where I go through and 100% everything, but that'd just be going through with the walkthrough, so honestly, eh. Not fun. Yeah, just kind of boring. Hmm. You ever hurt yourself so bad you're suddenly aware of how much you weigh? Yeah. Uh, yes? Yeah. I did that today. Like, you ever you ever been in a pool all day or in a... You took a long bath or something, and then when you, uh... drain the water or get out of the tub or whatever, you're suddenly aware of how heavy you are? Mm, yeah. It's like that, but without getting in the tub. You ever watch, like, an anime or a kung fu movie where they're like, Oh man, I feel so light like great fight and you're like I've never felt like that because like I've never felt like that I don't know I cannot relate to that description of feeling light I've always felt like my full weight I can relate because during a fight you are amped up on adrenaline mm. 
hand, you are usually bouncing back and forth on the balls of your toes. Sure. If you're a good, if you're a good fighter. Um. If you're not some bullshit weakling. Well, that if you're a moving fighter. I am not, cause like I'm a big dude, and I can do the moving. I can move like quick, but I like to draw people in and fight. Yeah, so make them, I would stand. Make them do the work. Yeah, not quite a rope a dope, but like it's up there, you know. Mm -hmm. I would make. The, I would uh, just kind of. One of my favorite things is to throw something up that they're not expecting, and it's so easy to do. I mean, isn't that the whole idea? But that's just it. When you're in a martial arts tournament and they've seen everything. What do you do now? Yeah, yeah, make something up. My move? Our style was built around movement. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, fast in and out leg work. Uh, controlling each other's legs was your biggest goal, because then you could control the rest of the fight. Right. If you could control their leg, then you could control the entire fight. And that, I don't mean like you got hold of their leg and you were just punching them. I mean, like, while their feet are still on the ground, you make them move where you want to. Mm. And so, how do you do that? How do you take away that control from them? I would drop to one knee and bring my elbows in real tight and cover my face so that they're, you're not allowed to hit anybody in the back in a tournament. So my back is completely exposed, but nothing else is. And that would make them have to come in real close, because the only target they have is the crown of my head. You're not allowed to kick anyone in the head, either. Yeah, I so, mean, fuck, why would you, you be have, allowed to do that? You're only allowed to punch to the head. And so, alright, that draws your opponent in even closer. And... Look, I say you're not allowed to kick to the head. You are, but our style uh, kind of frowns on it because it's crap and stupid. And I will fight anyone who says otherwise. Kick me in the head. I'll literally fight you while you kick me in the head and see how well that works out for you. Anyway, uh, so your instinct is, well, I can't kick him, I have to punch him. So you have to move in closer. Man, I don't care what you do. If you kick at me, that's fine. You're giving me exactly what I want. Control of your leg. And if you punch me, you have to come close enough that I gain physical control over your leg again. Like, it works for me both ways. And so I would just grab their leg, roll them up into a takedown, and uh, lock their head in. And I can take a punch a lot better than most people. So if I didn't want to do that, I would just stand still and let them come in swinging. I could block any kick you threw, I could block every punch you throw to the body, so that you're swinging at my head, which brings you right where I want you. you know, I got really good at that kind of fighting. And so, you know, I forgot where I was going with that. I don't know, I think we're just breaking. Hey, listen. We all we all get weird sometimes. It's a it's a natural healthy impulse. No, there was a point in that conversation. Ah, uh, probably. What were we talking about before the fighting? Uh, it when you feeling like when. You oh yeah, yeah. So so yeah, yeah, when you're moving around like that and the adrenaline is going through, you really do feel very light. Um, but, you know, that wasn't what I wanted. I wanted to be a tank, so... But yeah, when you're first getting used to it, and you're first excited for a fight to see who's the better fighter, you do get that light feeling. And it is, for real, like... Almost like a high. Really? Yeah. Fuck, I'm very low on egg. Alright, down to the last 15. Shit. Oh, no. 
Oh no, she's releasing the poison gas. Since I don't have to worry about how much damage I take. Come on. Get out of here. What do he has for you? Oh god, five more. Five more. Three. Two. Two. One! Come on! Is that it? I think I did it. Oh! Oh, she's doing something! Oh. You got this, Siggins? I think I did it. I think... I... Have I actually been this before? I'm trying to remember. Oh, shit! Oh, shit, I gotta watch out! Doing a thing. She's doing, she's throw it. She's throw it. It's purple blast. Oh, I got her. Oh. Oh, she dropped her bomb in with her with the, the drill. Nice. Did it. It's over. Ah. Well done, Iggy. You still got like 40 minutes left to fill. Hmm. What should I do with that? I could make it a smaller stream, but uh, maybe we should see what other we games do our are on first rare one replay. You should do your first uh, one-off. Hmm. I suppose I'd have to switch it over. I can, I can do that. I'll probably take a quick break and switch it over to the uh, desktop. Maybe, maybe I'll do something on the switch. Tobago. What do I have on the switch? I've been watching the Grumps play the the Clubhouse Fifty One games, and it almost makes me want to get it. But it's, it's. Forty dollars, and even though they're fifty-one pretty good games, I don't know if they're that good. Cause it's just stuff like checkers. Um, yeah, I have to be honest. For me, they they they've been the weakest uh, episodes of Game Grumps for a while. Hmm. They're just they're just not interesting. Yeah, I think it's because it's it's such a like, um, it's such a, a kind of basic bland game, and they're completely focused on it. So unlike yeah. where sometimes they'll have more boring games, but they'll have, um, they'll be able to like do the thing. That they'll be Daniel be able to say stuff while Aaron plays the boring game. Right. Uh, in this case, not so much. Mm. I have had the Twitch app off this whole time. I wonder if anything interesting's been happening. One viewer. Probably probably you. Yeah, more than likely. Uh I mean, my overall average viewer count has gone up per stream, but yeah, I think it might go down a little bit from this one. Oh well. Could be worse. I've de I've definitely seen worse, and I believe done worse. Those first couple like test streams I did were not great. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I remember one weekend when I was trying to get, you know, some attention streaming. Mm -hmm. I did, like, an entire, uh, fucking weekend of streaming. Like, non-stop. Oh. Yeah, from the time I got up to the time I went to bed, played Assassin's Creed uh, Origins. 
I ain't got nothing. Yeah, it can be rough. I don't know, sometimes we're, we luck out and get like five or so, but yeah, it looks like tonight is just pretty dead. Middle of the week. The best we've done is on like the weekends, I guess. All right, I'm going to take a quick break and set things up for something. Something else for a quick one-off, so we'll, we'll see what that is. All right. Hey.
make sure. Okay, so. Okay, so that they should be able to hear me now, and I think. Let me check. I think they should be able to hear you. Yes. Okay. Let's go bump that up. Okay, so now I got to decide what what we're going to play for this one off. Um, let me look at what I have installed on Steam. Steam. Steam, open up. Okay, let's see. Uh, Agricola, or Mellow, Braid, Dicey Dungeons, Fist of Ous. Hmm. Hmm. Holy shit. I have to send you something. Yeah. I sent it on Twitter because that's where it is. Okay. Let's see. Uh, it showed me the Hidden Valley secret sauce for a second. So gross. Did you see it? Cadillacs and dinosaurs. That's pretty sick. Now up here, Saturday mornings on CBS. I mean, I don't. I do not recall this. Uh, I wonder if it's a fake. Yeah, I mean, well, the thing is, like, w um, when you hear a lot of stuff, it's shocking that it was ever a popular IP. Like. Fucking Ninja Turtles is like now it's like whatever, but like back in back in the day it's like what the fuck? Who came up with this? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna play. <sighs> fuck! What can my computer handle? Uh Poker Night at the Inventory, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's play some poker. That's one that I can play as long as I want to and then end whenever. What the fuck? Why is Jazz Punk running? Stop. Stop. That's not what I clicked. Run. Run, you fool. Jazz Punk? Why is Jazz Punk going? Stop this. I did not tell you to be... Stop. Stop. What the fuck's going on? This is not the game I s set up. God, I just started playing a different game. Whoop. It. Whoop. Oh, my monitor's turned off for a second. What's going on? Ah, fuck. It's one of these games that, like, just, like, takes control of your mouse. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's usually one with like a custom cursor and it's just like, yep, now you can't use your mouse on anything else. God damn it. I'd need to set it up on the screen. <sighs> Hold on, technical difficulties. Press press um control alt delete. Control alt delete. Well, this is Mac. So All right, uh control um let me see. There is no control. No. Want uh, control. That... Uh, I think it's a da -da. yes, yes. That did it. Well, that closed <laughs> it at least. Ah, fuck. Mm. Fuck. Uh. Well, okay. It's gonna be a full screen thing. So let me just. Uh, properties. Window, we're gonna go manual. Oh, whoops. All right, hold on. Display one. Yes, is that y yes? Turn off the crop. Fuck, nope, wrong one. Shit, ah, fucking stop. Ah, it's frozen. Hold on. I know how to set this up. God damn it, I've set the whole thing up before. 
Oh, the encoding's overloaded. Yeah, no shit. What do you want me to do about it? I'm in the middle of something, dude. Okay. Just gotta... Yeah. Eh. It's also not the screen I said. I said the other screen is the one that I want to do. Hold on. Properties. Fucking switch over to the other one. There. Fuck's sake. Okay. Poker night. At the inventory. I, I, ah, fuck. God damn it, did it again. <sighs> yeah. And now it's not even filling the whole fucking screen. What's going on? God damn it. Are you still there or did it drop the call when I was doing all that? No, I'm still here. I was reading a article about Trump supporters and their idiocy. Oh. Yeah, it's borderline. Wait, from the description I'm getting of this guy, it's borderline like mental illness at this point. Like, yeah. I mean, it's it's, not... it's irrationality to a shocking degree. Well, it's just not healthy thinking. Like, you almost feel bad for the people. Yeah. Then you <laughs> hear the shit like... they say to other people, and it's like, eh, no. Mm. Like, this one guy's talking about after the Comet Pizza shooting, he called up another pizza place and threatened to shoot them up. Spent time in jail, and then his preacher told him he did a good thing. That's a shitty preacher. Yeah, like, and there's people thinking that, like, believing, not, you know, just like, metaphorically, literally, that the dem the Democrats are demons, mm. and that, that Trump is chosen by God to slay them. Not defeat them. Slay them. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing is his spiritual advisor has him believing that he is literally God on earth and shit. I mean... Just absurd fucking like levels of egotism. It's just fascism, bruh. Pure and simple. They're they're scaring people specifically to trick them into believing any shit that falls out of their fucking brains. Okay. Uh, I sure I want to quit. Yeah. Okay. Now let me give me my mouse back. Oh, fucking God damn it. There we go. Jesus. It's a fucking thing. Okay, okay, hold on. Almost, almost there. And there. I'd rather not have to set this shit up before I open the game, but of course there's no fucking <clears throat> helping it. <sighs> All right. You there? Hello? Are you there? Hello? I am here. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh. Are you... Is everything good? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to go to like 1130 on this since I'm having so much fucking trouble. Okay, and there's just a big old... Right? No. Okay, I thought there was a big old black bar on the side. Here we go. Play game. All right. Skip skip intro as soon as I can here, cause it's just, it just doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. I guess we're in an elevator. Yep. Going down. So I forgot that anarchist cookbook movie started with a George W. Bush quote. Really? Uh huh. 
Oh, when boy. I was young and irresponsible, I was young and irresponsible. Um. Oh, I mean, it's technically accurate, so. And it started with the. Uh, I think it's Keats quote. Uh, the center cannot hold. Things fall apart. Mirror and accused Tonight's loose upon the world. Will be Ten thousand mm-hmm. dollars. I think that's Keats. Yeah. Let me Google it. Yep, I know how to fucking play poker. Get out of here. Oh, it crashed. Fucking piece of shit. Okay, playing something else. Fuck, what do I have okay. installed? SteamWorld Heist. There we go. That's got Steam Power Giraffe soundtrack, so at least it'll sound Yeats. good. I'm wrong. It was Yeats, not Keats. Yeats? Why? Y e a t s. Hmm. Oh, okay. This is uh, running a lot smoother despite being a, a more recent game. All right. Uh, it's apparently from a poem called "The Second Coming." Uh.